Yo, 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 people, what is going on? My name is Big Omar. I am one half of OTR Gaming TV. I'm back once again, and I'm going to show you some more information about Forza Horizon 5, guys. Not Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 5. So today I have some information for you guys regarding a new feature they've put in to, well, they're going to put into Forza Horizon 5 when it comes out, which should be in a couple of months. Um, it's, got, guys, it's the best feature I've ever seen. It really and truly is. You can now gift a car to your friends or to somebody anonymous. Now how this is going to work, I'm going to walk you through the steps. You will see videos popping up on the screen. You will see information about it from the developers themselves. But it's it's a very easy process to give someone a car. I mean, guys, how many times have we all been playing a car game like, I don't know, The Crew 2 or Forza Horizon or something like that? I always say to my, my friends and everything, yo, I wish you could drive this car, man. This car is wicked. As an example, Forza Horizon 4. I sometimes wish I could give Raja my car to drive, but I can't. I have to either sell it to him or explain it to him. Now, I can say, yo, I wish you could drive this car. Boom. There you go. Take the car for free. You can keep it. Guys, everybody knows I got endless cars on Forza Horizon 4. If they could do this same feature in that, it would have been amazing. But guys, I'm going to walk you through the steps. And it, like I said, it seems relatively easy. You literally, so you find the menu, the pause menu. On the pause menu, you'll see a thing called find. Um, you'll say a uh, gift drop. So you find gift drop, and then as you click on it, all your cars will appear on the screen. When your cars appear on the screen, you can pick any car from your garage, any car you want from your garage. You can pick. And then you can gift that car to anybody. You can gift it to a player, somebody around you, somebody anonymous, somebody in the community, your friends. It doesn't matter. You can you can basically give your cars away. So you find the car you want to be gifted. So I don't know. I'll just, as an example, an Alfa Romeo. So I've got the Alfa Romeo. And then you get to pick. So you can pick if you want to send it to anyone. So I can send it to anyone who's on the game they'll just un randomly receive a gift off me of a car you can specify which player you want to send it to so if i want to send it to i don't know raja and say look here you go here's a car boom if someone like myself who's a returning player so i've played on forza horizon 4 i'm gonna go and play forza horizon 5 i'm obviously a returning player they can gift it to me so if i'm like new on that game and i've got nothing you can just gift me a wicked car straight away i think that's pretty cool or you can gift it to the hall of famers so that's people to just help out in the community and stuff like that so i thought that was pretty cool then once you do that you can then leave a message you can say look you know this is from me or welcome back or here's a gift for joining horizon just random stuff so you can leave a little message and then the next thing you can do when you move forward from all that is actually sign it so you can remain anonymous all the way but if you did want to let people know ah oh, this is me and you know my name's big omar i want to send you a car because i'm feeling generous today then by all means you can leave it you can sign it with your player name so obviously my name's Omar, as everyone knows. In the game, when I sign, when I start up Forza Horizon 4, it says "Welcome Omar." So I can sign it Omar. I can sign it my gamer tag, which is OTR Gamer TV on the Xbox, or I could just remain anonymous, guys, and just be like, you know what? I'm I'm feeling generous today. I'm gonna go spend some of my millions, buy some cars, and just send them out to random people and be like, you like cool guys. Then the next step after that is you get like. It's like a kind of like receipt or something like that, that you can see like to say look this is the car this is what your message will look like this is how it's going to look and then this is how the the person that receives it will see it. and then obviously you send it you'll press whatever button and you'll send it forward and then once you have actually sent that car like even the devs of the games like they said this themselves it's not the car will disappear from your garage you are actually gifting that car. You're not cloning your car and se sending it. Or you're not like 
you know, you, you're giving that car away. So I think that's pretty cool. They also did state that it is not trading cars, it's gifting. Now, as everybody knows in these communities and whatnot, they're just trying to be, you know, PC, politically correct, and they've got to say certain things, but in essence, it is a trading system, guys. You've got a nice Ferrari, I've got a nice Ferrari, let's swap for the day, see which one's better. I like your setup, you like my setup, you know what, just keep them. Or, nah, I want my car back, let me have my car back, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool, you know, I think that's one thing that's going to make this game stick out more than anything, the fact that you can gift a car to another player like that's amazing guys like that's one hell of a wicked concept they thought of if they thought of that in i don't know forza horizon 4 it would have made more sense because there's endless cars but as you know you know they're already giving that car list to forza horizon 5 and stuff like that there's there's going to be very v like vast amount of cars in this game you know just i think there's over like 100 odd fords alone just that's just one genre of car ford so there's going to be quite a bit and also guys like i said you know it's a good way of meeting people you know imagine you've got no friends on the game you know i'm not saying that everyone has or hasn't you know there's a lot of people out there they just play on their own imagine you got no friends on the game and all of a sudden you give me a car i'm gonna friend you for that if you gift me a car, bro, I'm going to friend you for that. So now you've made a friend automatically. You two can cruise together. Imagine you gift each other cars, start gifting other people cars. Then they want to add you. They become your friends. You know, it's hard to make friends in real life, guys. It's very easy to make friends online. You know what I mean? Because these people are not real. You don't know them. You don't see them. You don't interact with them. But this is a great way to interact with random strangers and be like, you know what? Here's a car on me. Have a car. Take it. Cruise around. Tell me what you think. Now, I'm I'm quite curious to see that if it works. Like, I gift you my car, but can you gift me back the same car if I want my car back? Or is it completely gone now forever? Like, you've owned it once. You can't own it again. You know what I mean? Which is not a problem because, you know, it just isn't. But... I think it'd be pretty cool if I could say, yo, Raja, test drive this car, bro. Tell me what you think. Give him the car. He drives it. He's like, yeah, it's wicked. I'm keeping it. Keep it. Nah, I don't like it. You can have it back. Gives it back to me. So I think that would be pretty sick. We need to do stuff like that more often in games. Even in stuff like, I don't know, the crew too. If you could let someone borrow your car to drive it before they buy it. Or if you could... I don't know just give them the car because most people don't have cars you get people like me level 75 and people like you know my mates who are thousand plus and they've got everything so it'd be cool even in other car games they should do it but you never know it's a concept at the moment they're putting out there it's it's a trial and everything so if it works on Forza believe next car next other car games will do the same but that's basically how you do it and that's all you got to do. So, yeah. Keep in touch, guys. Smash the like. Hit the comment. If I missed anything, let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.